Well, folks, the earth is flat, the sky is green, the grass is blue, and of course, Sony finds Abbyzilla stunning brave. But you know what? Today, we got a lot of people mad. Yeah, a lot of people are mad. We got community managers dunking on the gamers. We're gonna get down to that. Reviews, uh, I mean, look at that negative. I mean, holy crap, 83,000 reviews. And, <laughs> and people are just dropping them reviews right now. We also have Helldiver situation happening. And let's actually get you up to speed. Like the video if you don't want to see stunning and brave characters. Dislike the video if you find Abizilla to be the best character in video games history. <laughs> I, I just want to know where you guys at, okay? But check this, roll it. We did this, uh, Helldivers, an important message from it, our partner PlayStation it. about account linking for PC players and its significance yeah. in providing player safety features. And yeah. fall with that safety, yo, Sony, listen here. Did you give this guy in the back that was uh, pounding Abizilla in the game, did you give this guy safety? Answer me that, we demand answers. We gamers, we demand answers. Did you give this second? Safety? The answer is no. We also don't need safety. We need we need no safety. We, we just don't like the video if you don't need safety. It says, due to technical issues at the launch of Helldivers 2, we allowed the linking requirements for Steam accounts to a okay. PlayStation Network account be temporarily optional. That grace period will now expire. See details below in this post. Account linking plays a critical role in protecting our players and upholding the values of safety and security provided on PlayStation and PlayStation Studios games. This is our main- Dog, I remember playing without online for a solid month back in 2011 when that PlayStation hack happened. I remember playing Ascension Zombies for a month straight, damn it. Don't even talk about safety to me there, Sony. <laughs> Listen, I, I have a Sony Pony console. I got I, I got me that PlayStation and Helldivers had no problems. Everybody was saying, although I don't have Helldivers, but this is not my opinion. I'm basically talking about what everybody's saying. People that played this game, people that are playing this game, they have been saying nothing but good things about this game. Everybody's saying Helldivers is the one of the kind. Look at, look, look at, look, look at us, man. Finally, we have a good game, right? That's what people have been saying, and they couldn't see gamers being happy. This, for once, a game had no problems. Nobody was mad with a game, right? And they couldn't see that. They're like, okay, well, time to get gamers mad. And gamers got mad indeed. They Gamers are mad. We're gonna dive right into this one, too, in a Main second. way to protect players from griefing and abuse by enabling the banning of players that engage in that type of behavior. It also uh -huh. allows those players that have been banned the right to appeal. As such, as of May 6th, all new Helldivers 2 players on Steam will be required, required to connect their Steam account to a PSN account. Current players on Steam will start to see the mandatory login from May 30th and will be required to have linked a Steam and PlayStation Network account by June 4th. Now, this may not seem that bad, but no, it's fucking bad and it's fucking bullshit. It at the is, same time, it is, it let is. me explain here. This, this I, I feel like that Sony is just like feeling kind of cute right now. They're like, okay, well, if we do this, we can charge Steam users a monthly <laughs> or a yearly monthly, same bull squash, right? A PlayStation Plus membership. Bruh. I think they are looking to do that eventually. Like, hey, if you're playing Helldivers on the PC, give me money, give me money, give me PlayStation Plus money, give me PlayStation. Online needs to be free immediately. Like the video if you agree, dislike the video if you disagree, and where the hell is Biden at? Where is Justin Trudeau at? Y'all say is drop everything, make online free to play for playstation for xbox for everybody for everybody okay for everybody make it free to play i i, I agree with that i stand with that movement absolutely tweet covers it pretty well okay Pirate Software says, not happening. Removing access from Steam players unless they make a PSN account and link it months after release is absurd. Review changed to negative and I have filed for a refund. Pirate Software also goes on to say, for all uh -oh. those saying to just make a PSN account, bro, if you've been playing Helldivers 2 and do not live in one of these yeah. listed countries, you cannot- I heard, I, somebody was throwing this, could be wrong, but somebody was saying like Egypt as an example, Egypt doesn't have PlayStation uh, Plus service or network there. I believe they have the network, but not the PlayStation Plus. I could be wrong. I 100% could be wrong. I just saw a tweet on the timeline. 
not make a PSN account. Choosing a country you do not live in is a violation of Sony's TOS Holy. and could lead to account termination. Yes, there are some areas in the world you cannot make a PlayStation account. Let's check out what some other people have to say. Chemical says, I don't have a PlayStation account. I don't want a PlayStation account. Are you telling me I have to have a PlayStation account? Cartel says, now after 80 hours of game time and paying for the PC version, I'm going to be forced to make an account for a console which I don't own and for a company which I have no intention of using the account for. And, and, and you know what, before I show you the, the plot twist, guys, check this. So this is what happened earlier. Never seen anything like this before, TBH. 30 <laughs> 36,000 negative reviews added. Oh my bad. 36,000 negative reviews added for Helldivers 2 today, accounting for 10% of all reviews since release. Oh my god, bro. Why y'all sick is doing this, bro? Everybody, positive reviews, positive reviews. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, I believe like a week or two weeks ago at this point, community manager comes out, started dunking on gamers, started calling gamers toxic, problematic, all that bull squash, right? And today, the same, uh, probably not the same, could be wrong, maybe different one, maybe the same, could be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but Spitz is the community manager, right? So check this, community manager pretty much telling Helldivers fans to refund and leave it, leave if they have a problem. Like, what? This is how they treat the community. They made the game uh, pop. Yeah, a guy says that backpedal or lose your player base. And they responded by saying, I thought you were refunding and leaving. Whatever happened to, hey, the customer is right. The customer is always right. And of course, like this community manager is probably sitting on their ass doing absolute jack. The devs are working on the game, right? They're the one busting, <laughs> busting hours, like trying to put content and make sure they can, uh, they are able to make something enjoyable. Absolutely for gamers and in return these uh wokies these community managers whose sole job is to get feedback from the fan pass it on to the dev team and also just promote the game market the game you know uh, say good things about the game even you know if the game sucks in this case the people are saying the game is amazing but i'm just trying to make a point just give an example even if the game sucks even if the community is like full on toxic your community manager's job is to lighten up the mood, you know? Like, I, I wish I could say psych right now. Guys, I swear, I wish I could say psych right now, but I can't. I just can't. I can't. I can't say psych. I really can't. I really can't. A guy comes up. <clears throat> I see how Dyrus 2 community management is effing retweeted. Cannot say that word on YouTube. It's not like this is the first or even the 14th mainstream game to require a third-party account that takes a couple minutes to create. I, th that's not the issue, dot damn it. I also can, I, I mean, I play on PlayStation, so for me, it's like not a problem, it's not a big deal. The big deal here is obviously like, if you're, if you're playing on PC, why, why do you need that? Why, yeah, I hear that. And more so than that, genuinely for people uh, that, that are living in a country where PlayStation Plus is not their absolute clown world. And uh, of course, a lot of people are also assuming that Sony is probably gonna start charging people. In before, obviously there's like a lot of drama that we gotta cover and there's a video that I wanna show you in just a second. I truly believe that soon enough, Sony is just gonna reverse it and they're just gonna say psych. They're gonna be like, yeah, psych. Oh, yeah. They're, they're probably gonna pull a psych card and, and they're gonna correct it. Or, and if I don't do it, I'll be locked out of my game, which I purchased. You guys were just getting big W's being against scummy MTX practices, and now you pull this stunt. Is this an out of season April Fool's joke? <laughs> and also, I, I have to go yeah. back and criticize that security line. Uh -oh. Like, we uh -oh. want uh, players to be more secure playing yeah. Helldivers 2. And more safe. These things didn't even give safety to this guy that was pounding Abby Zilla in Last of Us 2. Like, bruh, what are we talking about here? bro like what we like f all with that safety son other fucking sony like psn gets hacked like once every three months or something like clockwork i, I swear to you I, i've yeah. actually had my account compromised just doing nothing yeah. i mean i don't i barely use my psn account but good god man I, I really shouldn't expect much from a company that uh released the worst console design ever i've been gaming for hey, 30 hey. years the playstation hey, 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 hey. pump the brakes bro time out bro time out man it's not even the worst. Okay, on that one, like, I, I personally did like the PlayStation 5 design, though. I don't think it's too bad. And on top, like, I don't even, first of all, I don't care for the design. Because it sits. It sits. 
I bought it to play games, motherfuckers. You feel what I'm saying? Like, the design don't matter, but okay, go off, king. Uh, 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 let's stay on topic, bro. Let's stay on topic. 5's design is cares, horrendous. Though? You have to stick a screw in it just to, to make it sit upright. Like, it's like something. Yeah, to be honest, like, does anybody even care about the design? Because, like, more than, for me at least, like, it's sitting under, under, the, de uh, under, the, under the disc. Uh, and I don't even look at it. I just, uh, you know, once in a blue moon, I just pa uh, I turn it on and play games. What I would say about a New York City hooker or something. Why do I have to do that? Why does it look like some uh, slow kids like interpretation of what a 90s router looks like? It is an awful design. Anyway, let, let's get okay. back to okay. why this uh -oh. is such a bad thing. Uh -oh. Now, one tweet covered it pretty well. It, it's like you could just buy the game. You don't know what's going on. You, you go to Steam. You see Helldivers 2, you purchase Helldivers 2, and then two months later, you have to make an account. What if you're in an area where you can't make an account? Well, yeah. you can use a VPN. Oh, but that's a bannable offense. What if somebody hacks your account on the PSN network? You don't even use it. They, they hack it because the network is garbage. I mean, the, the security is awful. So somebody yeah. you know, compromises your account, gets your Helldivers 2 account banned because of that, and you've never even touched it. Yeah. Stuff like this is why when companies do this, we should make a stink. Don't sit idly by and be a fucking pussy. Can, can, please, just speak up. Speak out. Don't let them get away with this stuff. Like, like Escape from Tarkov has shown... Yeah, the guys, you need to speak when the man says you literally need to speak. And to be honest, though, gamers are actually speaking. Let me actually show you guys this, okay? Maybe I saw it here. Got so many tweets pulled up here. Man says that it's just a mutated form of dish. Boycott Modern Warfare 2, we want dedicated service. So yeah, this happened all the way back then, I guess. Oh God! And then look at this. Yeah, let me actually put this there. Let's, yeah, the ambiance is gonna make it feel 10 times better. This from Steam DB 60. <laughs> 62,000 negative reviews today. Y'all think it's crazy, man. What the? Gamers are speaking. Gamers are speaking. Gamers are. Gamers do speak, but are they really gonna care about this? I don't even know, man. It's over. HD2 uh, Helldivers 2 is done, one guest said. Uh, oh, that. Oh, shit. That's a homie, though. Yeah, I was right. You see, I was right. Guys, if you got, I, I know my homies here, bruh. I know my homies. If you got Twitter, guys, real quick. If you got Twitter, uh, definitely feel free to follow. Link, uh, links are always in description. This is my Instagram, just in case, just in case. Uh, I'm trying to be active on there as well. If you are, if you have those accounts, uh, definitely check it out. Links are down below. All right, let's get back down to the content now, boo boo. That you cannot pull one over on most gamers nowadays. Yeah. Now, now, Call of Duty fans are a special kind of stupid. You could pretty much punch them in the balls. You, you could use their scrotum as a speed bag, you know, and they'll be okay with it. That's fine. But most gamers that are sick of this garbage, when you, when you put it into their like indie game, early access games, or, or games that promise you a fair microtransaction experience, yeah. they're gonna get pissed off. And I, yeah, to be honest though, like this is what I've noticed, right? Like, and, and this is absolutely crazy. Most gamers, whenever something bad happens in 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 their beloved game or the franchise or in general, right? Like some bad happens in gaming. For example, you know, I believe a year, two year, uh, years ago when uh, Xbox double tried to double their price, everybody went crazy. Sony ponies went crazy. Uh, Xbox Andy's went crazy, and, and rightfully so, right? Everyone came together and we talked about it. We speak loudly about it, and they reverted those changes, right? The, it happens literally. All across the industry gamers they take control they talk against it they say hey enough is enough we don't want this bull squash and guess what things magically gets changed for for better right at least for uh, the time being temporarily but most gamers talk about it in Call of Duty bro nobody nobody even cares they uh, yeah this is exactly why my dog wanna bite my non-existing this is my imaginary dog this is this is why he bites people friendly UAV online right friendly UAV online. Friendly UAV online BBC bundles gets in the game twenty dollars. People are like, yeah, that's cute, you know. Eighty dollars uh, Gorilla King Kong bundle comes in. Yeah, fine guys, like I I'll buy it. That's that's Call of Duty players. Bruh. Of course, call some a, a lot of Call of Duty players also are against it. Don't get me wrong, like people are against the the bad practices and the microtransactions. But generally speaking, Call of Duty fans don't give a damn. Then they opted with a hundred dollars camel. <laughs> 
absolute <laughs> insanity. Absolute insanity. And I was seeing like comments from Call of Duty fans. Well, it's not a hundred dollars camo. You have to buy other camos that are worth hundred dollars. That's when you can unlock it. It's a bonus. It's a bonus. <laughs> what? Yasuk is crazy? You have to literally spend a hundred dollars to get that camo. This is why those suckers have put it in place so you spend a hundred dollars buying the microtransaction before you can get the skin but gamers call of duty or not even gamers what am i saying call of duty fans they're like yeah like it's a bonus you know spend hundred dollars and you can get a bonus you know look at activision very nice of them how nice of them you know you spend eighty dollars you can get a monkey punch right you spend a hundred dollars I swear to God, bro. I swear. This is why we cannot have good things. This is exactly why aliens don't visit us, bro. Feel for anyone who has played Helldivers 2 and spent money on Wait stuff in the game. You know, supporting the game, supporting the devs, and then this happens, and yeah. maybe they can't make an account because they're in an area where, you know, they just can't do it. It's forbidden. Me and some friends were actually talking about getting Helldivers 2. I've been putting it off. You guys have been telling me to get it. I've seen gameplay. It looks fun. And today, I had to break the news to him, like, hey, guys, I I'm not getting it out of principle. I'm not getting it. It actually doesn't really affect me. I already have a PSN account. I could probably link it pretty easy. But this is not about me. I I I'm not making anything about me. It's about everyone. It's about all gamers everywhere. So many people, they're like, ah, if it doesn't affect me, it's not a problem. That is the most egotistical yeah, thing yeah, yeah. you could ever do or say, and not, not just yeah, in gaming, yeah, yeah. but in life in general. There are people facts, facts. starving in, in third world countries, but I'm fed. So it, does that make it okay? You know, it just, it's just- Yeah, I'm fed and everything is good. Yeah, I, I get the point. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. We, we gotta come collectively together. I absolutely stand behind it. Make online free. <laughs> Down Stop the censoring the games, and we don't want Abyssilla like characters. And guys, check this one out, okay? So I, I don't think you have seen this, right? So we also have, I believe his name is Pirate Software. I came across this guy, and this is the homie 8 Thoughts, uh, the Ghost of 8, uh, links are always in description. I came across him, I believe, when uh, the Apex Legend uh, uh, hackers, Apex, Le Apex Legends hacker situation happened, and this is what he has to say, roll it. And if we look at the roles in that, they have the role of Community Manager on the official Discord. Yeah. Ooh. That is a real message from the real community manager. Yeah, you, you don't like the game, refund and, and leave. That's the, the message of a, a community manager. Bumbaka. Whatever happened to a customer is always right. Even if you are if you feel like that, you, you want to say, spew some crap like that to a gamer that's potentially may or may not being toxic to you, that you should never do that. Then this happens, right? I'm sure like people are working hard on this game. They're like, bro, like, please just stop it. Because a couple of weeks ago, we had that community manager started like calling gamers toxic, problematic, and went just ultra retweet mode, retweet mode, right? Had like all the flags in the, the bio and guess what? Two days later, those flags were gone, so they were removed. <laughs> and the conspiracy behind it is that uh, Helldivers Arrowhead, uh, Arrowhead devs, uh, they kind of reached out to the community manager and told the community manager, prime manager to go, go kick rocks, okay? Go pound sand. If you want to work here, you remove that. So they ended up uh, doing that because uh, we, they, they're not looking to make this game uh, divisive. Now they, of course, have. But prior to this, they were not looking to, which I absolutely do admire and I respect that. But now they're doing all of this crap. Uh, I'm sure Sony is the one that is doing all of this and that is behind this, absolutely. So I'm not blaming the devs on this one. Uh, and, and now also Community Manager is doing all that crap too, so... On the Real Helldivers official Discord. The context... Okay, what is the context? Is that a player said, this will kill the Helldivers 2 on Steam, backpedal will lose your player base. And the community oh, yeah. manager said, I thought you were refiring and leaving. And who spits? That's a community manager, official community manager on their Discord. That's the most tone-deaf shit I've ever seen. Breaking news! Breaking news! As I was, in fact, editing this ow, video ow, and I was ow, looking ow. to see if there's any more pertinent information pertaining to this said video I am making <laughs> right now, there is an update. Helldivers CM spits tone-deaf messages are being purged from Helldivers 2 Discord for today. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, nah! So this happening too? Yeah, like I was talking about, right? Like, it, it happened to the other community manager with like the, the, the flag. We, 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 we gotta wave the flags, we gotta wave the flags. 
right it happened to a uh, dark community manager and now it's happening to yeah definitely I, I think they reached out to that community manager as well and knocked some sense into hey, him maybe or he's her, getting a talk so all that bullshit that was going on in the discord for hell divers 2 is now being i guess hopefully rectified the developers themselves have come out and said that what's going on is not their fault and they're sorry for it. Uh, Sony has got the power here yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. you know, it's going as well as, well as they expected that people are upset. But at least, you know what, they are taking the messages away. Maybe they're trying to cover it up. I don't know, trying to hide it too late. But at least it's they late, are, in yeah. fact, uh, trying to rectify the situation maybe a bit there. Hopefully that guy's getting fired. I mean, what kind of community manager does that, by the way? It's like, my job Crazy. is to be the manager. I'm supposed Crazy. to be the manager of the community and, you know, yeah. spread positive vibes and be here yeah. for people who bought the game who are the paying customer. Yeah. So what do I do? I insult them. All these community managers suck at their job. Start hiring people based on merit, not on their political, mm. gender, affiliation, <laughs> or whatever pronouns are put. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's like, dog, you're a community manager, right? Even if you're customer is being rude to you now i'm not encouraging that behavior i'm more so uh, i'm trying to make a point right like dog that's still a paying customer like it, you're all about the business here like even for example i can say this right for me like it, i also get rude comments right like i'm never gonna re respond in a rude manner because like listen there is no point you want to know like there have been so many uh, people that have dropped rude comments on my video and I respond nicely be genuinely because I genuinely mean that I don't take it personally so I respond I respond to it genuinely and guess what happens N 9 out of 10 times they're like okay oh shit like I didn't expect that reply I'm gonna sub right now so in return you're gonna gain of course uh, you know sometimes it happens where a person is rude in this case uh, there might be a toxic gamer uh, 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 that might say some crap to you that probably is gonna refund the game and never purchase the game but does that mean that you want to be rude to that? You're going to set an example. Just, yeah, like, whole, community managers are just insane, bro. They do the least amount of work, but they have the power to ruin the entire studio's image. Ain't that crazy? Putting in their social media bios. We need, this is a mere talk, meritocracy, by the this isn't a charity. Now back to your regularly scheduled video. And oh, if you go to Steam right now, you will see that they are now being review bombed like you wouldn't oh, believe no. it considering this game was oh, one of the most man. popular and well received games on Steam in a long time. It is all be going downhill for Helldivers 2. Yeah, I'm not linking my account to PSN. April 2011, hackers access personal data of 77 million PlayStation Network yeah. users. May 20 I was there. I was there. I played Black Ops 1 Ascension Zombies for a solid month offline. Damn it. I was there. I was there. But uh, honestly, I didn't mind that uh, too much because I was a kid back then. I didn't understand the concept of, hey, 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 if you have your credit card link, if you have your credit card link, that information can be stolen. I, I believe I didn't have credit card linked at that time because I didn't, like, uh, I was buying like $20, $30 of PlayStation Network cards back then. <laughs> and I had F all in my account. So uh, I was a happy, happy camper back then, right? Happy gamer back then. And we had good games back in the days too, right? Because the worst is whatever crap we're getting nowadays. So uh, there was that whole lot of good games back then. And I didn't mind because that month after, they gave free games. They gave us free games, they gave us vouchers, I believe they were also giving out like uh, $20, $10, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember, my memories right uh, right now is foggier than Snoop Dogg's bathroom, but, but I, uh, if I'm not, yeah, if I'm not mistaken, back then they were also giving like $10, $20, like uh, like vouchers like that, of course in PlayStation Network money, like duh. 11, personal details on 25 million Sony online entertainment customers stolen. June 2011, Sony Pictures website hacked, exposing 1 million accounts. November 2014, hackers steal 100 terabytes of data from Sony Pictures. August 2017, hacker group accesses social media, Sony social media accounts. September 2023, Sony investigates alleged hack. October 2023, Sony notifies employees of data breach. Exactly 11 or 12 years after the fact, they finally get around to it. This is an amazing game, however, due to Sony forcing players to make a PlayStation account months after release, I'm going to have to say this is a negative yeah. review. The bait and switch is cringe. Some Crazy, people can't man. make PlayStation Network. Guys, check out this video on the screen. We had a clip. We had a video footage in this one. I'm not sure if you guys were able to see huge drama, man. What is going on in gaming? <laughs> what is going on in gaming? It's absolute clowns show. Check this out on the left. This video is on my second channel. Yeah, second channel, guys. Second channel. Check it out and I'll see you right there.